My name is Michael Hoffman from the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre in Melbourne, Australia, and it's my absolute pleasure on behalf of all the investigators to present the results of the therapy trial today, a randomised phase two study of lutetium PSMA 617 versus carbazitaxel in men with castration resistant prostate cancer progressing after docetaxel. Therapy is an investigator initiated study designed and conducted by the ANZA Cancer Trials Group. I'm pleased to tell this audience that the publication has been accepted to the Lancet and should be available for your review in conjunction with the ASCO GU meeting. Theranostics is a compound of the word diagnostics and therapeutics and one of the cornerstones of nuclear medicine, where we use radioactive substances for both imaging and therapy. In the therapy study, we the target is PSMA or prostate specific membrane antigen labeled to gallium 68 for imaging and lutetium 177 for therapy. On the left, we see a man with extensive metastatic disease with high PSMA expression on the PET scan, indicating potential suitability for lutetium PSMA therapy. Lutetium PSMA 617 is a small molecule delivering high doses of beta radiation to sites of tumors and very low doses to background normal tissues. Lutetium has a one millimeter path length and seven day half-life, ensuring high targeting of tumors. Encouraging activity and safety have been demonstrated both in non-randomized trials and also our phase two trial that we conducted at Peter Mac. In the therapy trial, we took men with MCRPC who had progressed after docetaxel, who had a rising PSA and a PSA over 20 nanograms per mil. They underwent both a PSMA and FDG PET scan, which were centrally reviewed, and if suitable, randomized to either lutetium PSMA 617, six cycles delivered six weekly, or carbazitaxel at a dose of 20 milligrams per meter squared. This was a 200 patient study conducted at 11 sites around Australia. We registered 291 men and approximately 28% were deemed unsuitable after screening with FDG and PSMA PET. There was higher dropout or withdrawal in the carbazitaxel arm, likely a result of patients preferring to receive the experimental therapy. The aim of this study was to determine the activity and safety of lutetium PSMA 617 compared to carbazitaxel. The primary endpoint of PSA decline over 50% was presented at the ASCO 2020 meeting. An ongoing follow-up of this cohort presented today uh, does not change this endpoint. This occurred in 66% of men randomized to lutetium PSMA compared to 37% of men randomized to carbazitaxel, a 29% absolute improvement in the primary endpoint favoring the experimental arm, as seen in this waterfall plot. The patient characteristics were broadly similar between the two arms. 91% of men had progressed after enzalutamide or abiraterone. However, there were more patients in the lutetium PSMA arm who had progressed after both abiraterone and enzalutamide, perhaps conferring a slightly unfavorable characteristic to this population. This analysis occurred after 170 PFS events uh, dated 20th of July, 2020. Progression-free survival. Lutetium PSMA 617 delayed progression with a hazard ratio of 0.63. At 12 months, there were only 3% in the carbazitaxel arm without progression, compared to 19% with lutetium PSMA. However, the median PFS was similar between the two arms at 5.1 months, demonstrating that the treatment effect was not constant with respect to time, with greater benefit emerging from six months. Similar hazard ratio was seen for radiographic PFS and PSA PFS, and in per protocol sensitivity analyses. There were only 90 deaths at the time of this analysis, which was insufficient to trigger a survival analysis. Objective response rate determined by CT using RESIST 1.1 in men with measurable soft tissue disease at baseline occurred in 49% of men randomized to lutetium PSMA compared to 24% of men 
can be randomized to carbazitaxel. In this waterfall plot, we see the maximal percentage change in measurable lesions compared to baseline. Adverse events were also presented at the ASCO 2020 meeting, and with ongoing follow-up, we did not identify any new toxicities in the experimental arm. Overall, there were fewer grade three to four toxicities in men randomized to lutetium PSMA, occurring in 33% of men, compared to 54% of men randomized to carbacitaxel. There were no lutetium PSMA related deaths. We also looked at patient reported outcomes using the EORTC QLQ C30 and a variety of other validated symptom control measures. Using the EORTC QLQ C30, we saw outcomes favoring lutetium PSMA significantly with regards to social functioning, fatigue, insomnia, and diarrhea, and generally an effect favoring the lutetium direction in, other, in all other measures. With regards to specific symptoms, there was a significantly less incidence of skin rash, sore hands and feet, hair loss, altered taste, dizziness, urinary symptoms, and diarrhea reported by patients in the lutetium PSMA arm, and there were no symptoms that, it were, that favored the carbazitaxel arm. Deterioration-free survival is a measure of time to a greater than 10-point deterioration in the global health status progression, death, or treatment discontinuation. And in this Kaplan-Meier plot, we can see that the results favor lutetium PSMA. At six months, 13% of men were event-free, compared to 29% with lutetium PSMA, and these results were sustained out to 12 months. Therapy is the first randomized controlled trial of lutetium PSMA 617. A strength of the study is an active control arm using carbazitaxel, a validated life-prolonging therapy reinforced with the uh, publication of the CARD trial. We selected men carefully using PSMA and FDG-PET, and we saw large difference in the primary endpoint and also multiple secondary endpoints. We await further follow-up, including the results of the vision trial, in particular, to define whether there is any improvement in overall survival. As an unblinded study, we saw greater withdrawals in the carbazitaxel arm, which creates a bias in our intention to treat analysis. Clinical impression is that lutetium PSMA is a favorable treatment option compared to carbazitaxel in men with high PSMA expression. In conclusion, in men with progressive disease following docetaxel, lutetium PSMA 617 was significantly more active than carbazitaxel, with fewer grade three to four adverse events and patient reported outcomes in multiple domains favoring lutetium PSMA. Accordingly, lutetium PSMA 617 represents a new class of effective therapy for men with castration resistant prostate cancer. There are many people to thank in the conduct of this rather complex study. I'd like to start by thanking the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia, with thanks to Community Generosity from Movember, It's a Bloke Think Foundation, and CAN for Cancer for funding this trial. Additionally, PSMA 617 was supplied by Endocyte, now a Novartis company, and we also received financial support. Lutetium 177 was supplied by ANSTO in Australia. The study that was conducted by the NHNMRC Clinical Trials Centre at the University of Sydney and also in conjunction with the Australasian Radiopharmaceutical Trials Network. I'd like to thank the patients and their support networks and the principal and co-investigators at all 11 sites around Australia together with radiopharmacy, radiochemistry and clinical trials support staff. Thank you very much. <laughs>